how you guys doing? Welcome to the Messy Sweet Spot. I'm Gigi, and we're going to talk about Erica Mena and Safari. If you guys did not know, recently it's been crazy with the two of them. Safari created a YouTube channel, or he already had a YouTube channel, but he just revisited his YouTube channel recently, and he came out with videos of Erica Mena, his baby mama ex-wife, uh, putting paws on him, climbing a fence or climbing a ladder to get to him, and it just makes her look so crazy. And a lot of people are on his side. He got half a million views and he has now become very popular on YouTube. Erica Mena, she's clapping back and uh, she's speaking out and she's responding to all of it. I mean, their marriage, their relationship has been a circus freak, okay? I believe they only got together, they only produced kids for a check for Love & Hip Hop because they need a storyline. And to be on Love & Hip Hop in these reality shows, their life just regular is so basic and boring, they have to put it up a notch. So they get married to each other, they have sex with each other, they do whatever they gotta do, sell their soul to get money and to gain attention. They, they are attention hungry. So this is just what it is. So let's listen to her, see what she has to say. And um, let's react to it, okay? Um, this is Erica Mena reacting to the madness. In the last 48 hours with the people who have been reaching out for me um, in the industry alone, artists, actors, actresses, producers, directors, um, head executives at these networks um, who are seeing through you know, it all, um, you guys have actually been key in just getting me through this mayhem. It's a very unfortunate situation, um, but obviously, you know, it's very common. Um, and, you know, it, it hasn't been easy dealing with this for the amount of time I've been dealing with it. Um, it's not easy dealing with a non-confrontational situation that starts a lot of confrontation because they know they can violate, disrespect, provoke just to get a reaction out of you. So it has been a lot. And this actually goes outside of industry. I have a lot of women and men who are pouring their heart out to me, um, showing me, you know, a couple of them have actually showed me videos and stuff that was put out on their behalf um, and gave me the backstory on what caused their reaction to what was put out there. But, you know, it's actually very common, um, unfortunately, where you get caught up with certain situations um, that use your, your real devoted, genuine feelings against you. Um, they play the mind games. They, you know take it there where they disrespect you, they violate you, they provoke you, cause you to, you know, rage. And then when you finally react, you know, it's hide hands, they're innocent. That's just kind of, you know, how they want things to be perceived, which is fine. But this is actually more common, unfortunately, than I even thought. I've also been blessed enough to have two individuals on social media who advocate for this type of, you know, um, I don't want to say the word because then people are going to take it and think that I want to play victim. But at the end of the day, you know, um, that advocate for this type of treatment, this type of play, um, I'm going to tag them right here. Um, one of which, Lee Hamilton, big up to you. He's actually, uh, you know, he's been diagnosed with um, narcissistic disorder. And um, he reached out to me after seeing the video um, and he sees between the lines, which a lot of people do. And he said, this is exactly what I used to do. And we had long conversations, which have been so helpful. So if you see yourself, you know, in this situation, these are the two to follow. The other person that is definitely a must follow is, um, Lisa. What I love about having my conversation with her is, um, she came across it as well and same thing it's relatable you know a lot of people are seeing themselves in my shoes which is so unfortunate um you know where it's like okay this was all done but what did you do kind of thing um what i love about her is she's actually been in my actual shoes like many of us and she is you know advocating hard for women to just see the signs to avoid this stuff 
um, and you know if you're in the situation how to get out of it because it is very draining it does play ugly head game with you and it's 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 a lot to deal with especially when you have kids involved so anyway i am relieved <laughs> to its highest capacity um that because i knew for years like people aren't gonna believe me i'm dealing with a non-confrontational situation that really starts all this confrontation that provokes that violates that disrespects and make sure you feel it to its full capacity so that this way you can lose yourself and react in, in, in whatever way that moment is. Um, but now that, you know, I, I, I'm getting all these people, industry, not industry, who are letting me know they've either been there, done that, or they read between the lines or they know what's up. This has, is such a relief. Um, it hasn't been easy. But I'm so grateful. <laughs> so again, before I go, thank you, 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 thank you to everyone who knows what's up. Um, all of you who are reaching out, making me feel not alone um, in the sense of like, I've been there. I know what you're going through. Um, all the advice I've been getting. Um, the love has really been really stand up. Again, I don't feel alone anymore. <laughs> this is actually more common. Unfortunately, my circumstance is so ugly, but it's, it's, it's a relief to know that I'm not the only woman or man who has dealt with this type of situation um, when your feelings are just used against you and you're violated because the person knows that, you know, especially when they know you're still in the healing phase, um, the mind games, all of that stuff as, as humans, it, 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 there, there, there's endpoints and it's unfortunate, you know? God is real. No one is perfect. You know better, you do better. Um, there's a lot, you know, ahead of this, but this whole situation was definitely a blessing in disguise. I feel even more so in control. Um, I know I have people behind me where before I was like, is it me? Is it just me? And no, it's not. So yeah. Um, and the great things that have come in the last 48 hours is mind blowing. Um, you guys will be seeing more of me. Um, in a personal space and I'm, I'm, I'm happy because this is going to empower a lot of people um, yeah so thank you guys again <laughs> okay so I have to put respect on his name um, Lee Hancock all right well there you have it she is going to get promoted for bad activity you know bad behavior that's what happens in the black community um they will you know give you a show give you space to talk because like she said a lot of people can relate to that because a lot of people in this community it's just like Erica Mena. They are overly aggressive. They're overly emotional. They're overly irrational. And um, that is why so many people can relate to her. And you heard what she said. After that, she got a lot of deals, a lot of doors open to her. A lot of people flock to her because they can relate. It's a lot of that in the black community. So it is what it is, honey. I'm not surprised. She about to blow up. And that's what happens when you do horrible shit. Um, the black community, they're going to give you a platform so you can do more horrible crap and they can make money, money off of it because they know that they're going to tune into it. And that's numbers. Okay. So comment, let us know what are your thoughts about this. And I'll see you guys on another video. Bye.